grab this one. Prioritize your mental health. We always do. Yeah. <laughs> Find what motivates you. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with you. Good morning, good morning. Today is so different from yesterday. Yesterday I was like very low energy. Scotty and I just dropped off a car and we just picked up peach coffee. <laughs> just dropped off a car. <laughs> yeah, I know. But anyways, you don't want to hear that story. It's so boring basically so his parents can use the car. That's the story. Um, and now, can I hand this to you, sweetheart? Here, just so I can get in. Oh, that, that would be even better. You know when you have your phone here and then you go to like, you go to bend and it's just totally, just totally cramping your style. That's what was happening. So now we're gonna go to Michael's because I have to finish off a bunch of wedding DIYs and I have to pick up some vinyl, but I actually do have some research to do about it in the car now because I need to make sure we pick up the right vinyl. And I just wanted Scotty to be part of the wedding DIY. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. It's not Hobby Lobby, guys, but this is Canada's version. <laughs> currently just trying to figure out what kind of vinyl we need. Whether that's a permanent, non-permanent. These are moments where I wish I had Mr. Crafty Pants with me, who is a YouTuber and very, very successful. Do you want to see if we can ask someone if they're like a cricket expert? Oh. This removable vinyl. And I have the, we have the Explore 3, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to look it up online. But what Scotty and I have got is the Smart Vinyl from Cricut. It's 50% off right now, which is great too. We got the Permanent Vinyl, as well as the removable, removable Vinyl, and the Linerless Transfer Tape. Don't know if I need that. I've never used that before. I've only done the iron-on, but hopefully that's that. Okay, so this is telling me that I need to use permanent adhesive vinyl, which can come in many textures and colors. And the second is to use heat transfer vinyl on wood, also known as iron-on. And both can work, apparently. But how would you iron it on? So a couple of little things that I just learned. One, they said a squeegee or a big scraper will help, and because it's 50% off, I'm gonna get the Cricut one. And two, that a linerless transfer tape, that should be good enough and to get the permanent vinyl because um, they said, especially when it's on wood, like the non-permanent doesn't really matter. Like if it's permanent vinyl, you can still have the ability to take it off when it's on wood. And if the wood is painted, then the vinyl will stick a little bit better. So I'm really hoping that we got the right bit. And because we're not gonna be getting the removable vinyl, we're just gonna get three of the permanent one. So I think we got what we got. And Scotty got some pens. The best pen. <laughs> What are the best pens? Sharpie. Okay. 0 0.7. Yeah. Medium. Sharpie 0 0.7 medium. Black. All right, you guys, we are actually gonna head to my parents' house because we are going to put together this vinyl stuff right now. I have a card box put together, a card wall to put together, as well as an A-frame sign, and I really hope that we got the right stuff. I also brought my tripod because I am going to be filming this for a reel and a TikTok, and I have started blogging so much more, so I've decided, you know what, I have been finding so many amazing DIYs and crafts and all of that good stuff on blogs because it is so much easier to have that static content and scroll through and save it on Pinterest boards and all of that fun stuff, so I'm gonna do that for you guys too. So anything that I have posted right now, wedding-wise or some blogs that I absolutely love, I will link those down below, but yeah, it's just amandawalden.com. I was able to get my own name, which I am so happy about. I am just going to turn this off right now because I have to pay extra super close attention when going through um, our neighborhood. Obviously when driving, we shouldn't be on any tech, but um, extra super close attention because we have a lot of kids in this neighborhood. So I will see you once we get to my parents' house. Two handsome boys. Look at this handsome boy. Oh. I'm gonna stand up now. <laughs>
officially at Bonster's Craft Kitchen. <laughs> so what she's doing right now, this is my mom. She's putting together this little greenery part. A few of them fell off, so she needs to glue gun it. But this is the base. Basically, it's this green ring that is glue gun to this top part so that you can put the florals on. And this little wood piece and this little ring is just a washer, a ring, and a piece of wood because that is what is going to anchor the string in the pool and like the weight to basically keep it in one place. And she's already created a bunch of them. Oh, sorry, blue light. <laughs> Come on, auto adjust. She's already created a bunch. So basically this is what it'll look like that she's created and there'll be three of them floating in the pool. So yeah, tons of florals. We're basically just gonna shoot this for a little TikTok to show off some ideas. And then I actually forgot that I needed my computer for the Cricut stuff, so I might have to run home and get that or borrow one of theirs. Okay. So she just said she's gonna take that and measure it around the perimeter. And because that's a little bit longer, it's just gonna be a bit of finagling. Okay. This is her, this is her final masterpiece. She just wants to use it as a template. Okay, mom, so what's next? Now we're gonna add these pieces in. Eucalyptus. So you want us to do all the greenery base and then add the flourishes, yeah. right? The base starts with the, the outside because you wanna hide the white ring. I've seen a lot of them where they didn't hide the white ring. This, for my personal, it just didn't make me feel good. Okay. So now I'm going to take all these off of the stem. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're taking them all off just for little sprigs? Yeah, because we're going to move them, we're going to place them, and then we're going to insert them and see where we want them. Okay. So now you find out where you want to put it. You put it in on an angle, and then you're going to secure the end bits with the little floristry staples, just like, like that, on an angle as well. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. So now she's coming in with the flowers. One thing I want to point out though is like, so when you get these flowers, I believe these are the mini roses or peonies, but actually I think this was the peonies. Those were the peonies. Yeah. They would come in a big bushel and then mom basically cut them into singles. But this one is very tight. All of the petals are together around. And then this one is one that I fluffed out. So it's really nice to have kind of a mix of both because like my mom said earlier, not all not any flower is the exact same. So it's nice to have a bit of that variety in there too. And these ones have buds, which is so cute. And this one just has three leaves. I actually love this one the best, it's so good. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. Here is our progress and by our, I mean my mom's progress so far. <laughs> Supporting bystander here though. Um, so now that she's kind of got that nice crown all the way around, she's gonna start filling in 
the center bit. And you're gonna wanna go up and down with these florals instead of to the angle, I believe. Yep, pretty much. As I've been watching here. And this is good to know too. So this whole thing was $17.99. We bought this at Hobby Lobby, if you guys saw that vlog. And that's US. But there were quite a they few. Were 40% off when I bought them. Oh, and they were 40% off, can't forget that. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blooms on there. So that is not bad at all when you're breaking it down. And I was also, um, I was also saying to my mom that are you what, not, are you sure? Yeah, are you sure? Is great is that she, because she's not gluing anything on here, it will be really easy to just kind of pick them out after she's used them for what she's used them for and to use them to make wreaths or anything else that she wants to make. Even that little flower thing, that flower basket at the front door, at the second front door, you could even use them for that. What are you thinking, mom? One in the deep end, one in the middle end, one in the shallow end? Yeah. Yeah, that's so nice. Well, we have three homes, right? Yeah. That's why I wanted to do three of them. Yeah, that's so nice. Look how beautiful it's looking down here. Oh my God, your hydrangeas are absolutely popping. The daisies have popped. And it, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells the trees amazing. Smell the trees this last week? Yeah, because these are Lindwoods. Lind Lindwoods? No, they're uh, Little Leaf Linden. Oh, Linden, yeah. And, and there's the just full of just flowers. Broken. Too much overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Okay. I'm gonna just take some footage of this for the reel, but you guys can hang. Home because I had forgotten my computer for the cricket, but. This is the acrylic box that I ended up purchasing off of Amazon. And what I'm gonna be doing is putting like Scotty and Amanda or thank you or a mix of both on that. But now looking at the vinyl that me and Scotty purchased today, it's like Blue Jays blue. It is Toronto Maple Leafs blue. It's not exactly the vibe I'm going for. I want that elegant, deep, deep navy blue, which is essentially more like this. Like you think it's black, but it's actually blue. So me and my mom are gonna go to Michael's again and see if we can get the proper color for that um, and return these ones. And I'm also gonna bring the transfer tape that I brought because, bought because I feel like the linerless may be for more expert level people, but time will tell, we shall see. The DIYs continue. I wasn't able to finish everything that I wanted to last night, but that's okay. I'm setting better boundaries for my work-life balance, and I am gonna be probably going to my mom's either today or tomorrow to finish off the cricketing stuff, and I'm so glad we actually ended up going back to Michael's, exchanging the blue that I had got, because in the aisle and in the lighting in Michael's, it looked more navy, and then in natural light, the blue that I had got was like Toronto Maple Leafs blue. It was like Blue Jays blue. It was a very royal blue versus a navy blue. Also, you guys, I just had my nails done for the bridal shower, and they are stunning, stunning queen. Look at these. I am actually shook. I've never had the airbrush French before. My camera is gonna die, but I wanna let you know that I am at HomeSense now because I am in charge of picking up three prizes for the games that are taking place at the bridal shower. The nails are done, the prep is there. I've also booked a tan, which I'm very excited about. Yes, it is so hot in this car. I gotta get going. I'm gonna go into HomeSense and if I can show you, I will. Um, I'm not gonna take you with me because my camera's gonna die, but maybe I'll just, sweeping declaration, I'm gonna show you what I get for prizes as soon as I get home. Can't wait, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> so now it is my job to turn this into three prizes, but I honestly think this could be more than that. I just put on threads, what would you like to receive if you were to win something at a bridal shower? And someone just recommended like some local finds and I feel like that would be amazing. If I had some more time, I would have put together some baskets of local things that Scotty and I absolutely love, but truly up against it right now. So what we have got is three baskets. So I got a basket, a pot, and then this really cute little one that says flowers and garden. And then I had some of these like packing bits from just a PR pack that I had gotten. And so I was thinking what I could do is put together like a 
few different bits of things that I love most. So it's basically kind of like a beauty one, um, like a home and kitchen one, and a cozy one, because I got this blanket and some English tea. I didn't get a mug, because I feel like everyone has a bunch of mugs, but then I could put together like a beauty one as well. Um, I think I already mentioned that. And then I also got a candle for every single one. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe put together some smaller ones versus three absolutely overflowing ones. And then Rebecca can, my maid of honor, who's running the bridal shower with my mom, can basically be like, okay, is there like a runner up or something like that? More prizes is always a lot more fun. So maybe I'll do that and it'll just mean that more people win, which is always a nice feeling when you leave a bridal shower. So let's start putting this together. Um, a couple of the bits that I got from HomeSense besides the baskets, so a few candles. Oh, I kind of forgot I got this. This is so cute. Um, it's like a shampoo scalp brush. I've never used one before, but this is supposed to stimulate your hair follicles. So I felt like that was a really fun one. I got this English tea because I loved the little tin. It was so cute. I have to take off all of these stickers though. That's going to be annoying. Um, a few candles, which they have pre-wrapped, but I'm going to have to unwrap those to take the tags off. I had this from a little Danish package I had received, but I had also purchased dish towels. I feel like that is a good supplementary thing. I also got this. I love putting this stuff in my coffee sometimes. So I thought that would be really fun. So there's some sweets and then bun a bunch of brow products um, that I can also pop in there. So I think we're winning. I think we are winning. I'm going to set you guys up over here and then I'm going to get to thinking <laughs> about how I want to put this together. Also, I'm going to put together a blog about things that you can gift at bridal showers because there's other things like little glassware or I don't know. I remember going to a bridal shower and the girl, it was very much like a big Polish bridal shower. And literally the moment she found out she was engaged, she started collecting things that were just on sale and things like that from like a Hodensense-esque kind of vibe. And um, I feel like I won something from that and I forgot what it was. I think it was glassware. Mugs is cute, local finds. People also love a gift card. I know it's pretty lame, but like getting a gift card to Sephora, I've won one of those at a bridal shower before. Indigo gift card, that's always fun. Um, so yeah, let me know down below in the comments and I'll put together an epic blog post. So if it is your time to plan a bridal shower, you've got a ton of ideas there. Oh, I also forgot that wine and chocolate are always a good idea too. Um, that's always really fun. I think as the beauty items are smaller, I'm gonna put them in this one and just make it so cute. Also these little tiny bottles of Prosecco, it's not like a full one, but they're really cute for a grab and go as well. Actually, yeah, I'm going to lay all of this out, take all of the tags off, and then we can start putting them into different packages. And I think I'm going to create <coughs> five total. Even though I only have two little bins, I'm gonna go get a couple of gift bags from downstairs. That will be perfect. I've been feeling so good about all of the wedding stuff lately. It's been really exciting. I was at the nail salon today and the woman um, who is doing my nails, uh, she was basically asking me, oh, am I getting stressed? Like, how am I feeling? And I honestly feel really good. Officially, we are one month out right now. And she was saying, oh my gosh, I've had girls sit in my chair, start talking about their wedding and start crying. And that just breaks my heart because yes, there was definitely a point in time where I was feeling stressed about it because I was trying to take on the world kind of on my own. And the key is just to delegate and kind of realize that, yeah, you are going to be the one who has to kind of like set the tone and set the pace. Okay, this is literally driving me crazy. Why does HomeSense put stickers in the literal worst place ever? Put it at the bottom of the candle. Like, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Every single time I get a frame from there, it's like on the glass. So if you know someone who works at HomeSense or if you are a HomeSense insider, can you please riddle me this? Like, why? Why? Why do you make it so difficult when I love you so much? Oh my gosh. Gets nails done, immediately peels stickers off. 
<laughs> horrible. But yeah, so she was asking me all about, you know, how's the wedding going and like all of those things. And yeah, I'm just kind of choosing not to be stressed at this point because I don't know, there's literally no point. I have a good team around me. That's definitely something that you're gonna wanna set up is set up the right people to be around you and kind of on your team and in your back pocket. But there's so many things that you can and so many things that you cannot control when it comes to organizing an event like this. And I think one of the most stressful parts is like managing other people's expectations because as much as this wedding is about you and the person you love, it's honestly also a lot about the people who are around you who kind of saw you grow up and, and all of those things. So, you know, you do have to let people in and let them help you because that's what they really want to do. Um, and as much as you want to do everything that you want to do, there's got to be a little bit of give sometimes. And you just have to remember, we're just spinning on a rock through space. This is supposed to be about you and your partner and about your love, but then as well about the community that you have surrounded yourself with. So at the end of the day, if something goes wrong or something doesn't turn out exactly the way you want it to be, yes, it can be annoying. But it's truly not the end of the world and life will go on and as well kind of the last thing that i'll say is there are so many moments frick finally got that sticker off it kind of still looks bad but that's okay um there are a few things that oh, what was i gonna say oh what i was gonna say was um i as well asked on threads the other day what is your wedding advice because I was just nearly a month out tomorrow it will be officially a month out um, and I was like give me your wedding advice and literally the most common and the most of anything that anyone said was just enjoy it like just be so present just give your phone to someone else let them manage messages or whatever you want to do or however you want to manage it that day and hand over and delegate everything and just enjoy it and be so present because I'm going to tell you right now I am shook like we've been engaged for two years now because we got engaged March 2021 and it goes by really fast so romanticize those small moments and on the wedding day I promise you I am going to be so present like I'm going to be trying to stop every single moment possible because I just want to be in it so things like putting together this, that doesn't stress me out and I'm choosing not to be stressed. I'm choosing to say, here's my delegated time for this. How can we enjoy this the best way possible? And a part of that has been for me kind of bringing people into the fold, like asking you guys questions and vlogging along the way. Um, that's starting to pick up again, which is so nice. And just, yeah, bringing people into the fold who are closest to you if you don't love to post on social media you don't have to tell the world about what you want to do but maybe it's your best friend and you have a group chat if that's just one person or a few people or your mom or your dad or your aunt or whoever when things happen like me getting my nails done like this i like being hey guys look at this i'm obsessed what do you think asking those questions and just having fun and sharing things that you're excited about even if they're as frivolous as getting your nails done for your bridal shower I'm gonna put these together and show you guys the final result after. And then tonight I'm actually going to an event for Sarah, who is one of my bridesmaids. And if you've seen our Mexico vlog or even um, the Bachelorette vlog, she was there. And she is running her very own like homeowner summit because she's a real estate agent. Probably be a little busy. So let me put this together. <laughs> gonna go beauty cozy home and beauty home and beauty yeah <laughs> whoa -sy. i'm not giving away whoa -sy. 
I just have to get a bag for this one. This doesn't look as pretty as I was hoping it would. <laughs> okay, everything is in their own little bag and I'm feeling so accomplished. That is a huge win for today, an absolutely huge win. I have some work to do. I'm going to dive into that and then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing tonight. All right, that urge to wear something that's not white right now is really real because I've been wearing so many white outfits, but I just feel like this one is perfect for this event because it's kind of like a smart business casual, but also still very much me. Very, very much me. Holland Cooper belt, Karen Millen from a Lydia, Lydia Millen collection um, for the dress. And then these shoes are by Kelly and Kate. Kelly and Kate, and look at them. They are so beautiful. And I mean, I don't know if I want this much height, but I think they just go so well with the flowers on the side and the flowers in the dress. I feel like people are gonna be dressed very businessy and I'm just gonna float on in like a little lace lady. Good morning, you guys. And welcome back to the vlog. A very fresh faced me this morning because I am going to have my makeup trial for my wedding day and the best piece of advice, one of the best pieces of advice that I have been given so far on this wedding journey is to plan your makeup trial the day of your wedding or your bridal shower. Brilliant, which means that today is also my bridal shower. So I'm just dressed up in this little Amazon dress because it's gonna be really easy to slip off and not have to take over my head to mess up hair and makeup. I had a bridal tan last night which means that there's no um, there's no bronzer in the solution. So there is absolutely no potential of brown or transfer to get on my white clothing. And that is perfect for your wedding day because you don't wanna have an orange dress, okay babe? You do not wanna have it. <laughs> You're gonna wish you'd had a translucent tan. So that has been amazing. I loved the trial of that. And I have already booked for my wedding day because it's not extreme, you know? I look quite sunny. I have an idea for a really fun reel this morning because I want to take you along the journey, but I also want to make some fun content along the way. And my mom and my maid of honor have done so much work on this bridal shower. And literally Rebecca, who's my maid of honor, who you would have met in the bachelorette vlog, she already called me this morning. So, so excited. So yes, I am very excited. I have a few bits laid out here. I have my little tripod because I'm gonna bring that to the makeup appointment because it's gonna be so fun to film some behind the scenes. I'm gonna bring you behind the scenes as well in the vlog. I'm gonna put right here my inspiration for my makeup that I sent her because you always wanna send inspiration. I still wanna look like me. I still wanna look like me, just a little bit elevated and um, nice and glowy and summery. And I also cannot wait, cannot wait to show you the dress that I have picked for the bridal shower because it's stunning. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to bring you guys with me. I'm so excited. Guys, I didn't film anything at Shauna's just because we were chatting and she was working and I feel like she just wanted to like focus on getting the right makeup done because we were on a timeline with the bridal shower, but look at this makeup. I love it so much. It's a very, elevated me, but it's still me, which is so nice. I think if you guys are interested um, after the wedding day, I could maybe sit down with her and talk about what products she used and kind of like how she applied them to get this makeup look. But last minute we added a couple little lashes right on the ends and I feel like we both agreed it truly elevated the look. I am someone who loves kind of a more petal pinky look to my makeup, a glowy look, a natural look, almost as if you were doing like Victoria's Secret runway show kind of vibes. Um, so it's like subtle glam, you know? I just love it so much. She did such a good job. So I'm gonna film a little get ready with me and then we're off to go to the bridal shower. All right, my angels. I just filmed my get ready with me for the channels and this is the dress. It's from Shauna Joy. It literally brings me so much joy. It's so beautiful and simple and elegant. And I'm wearing my little Diamante shoes, my little purse from Zara. I actually have a purse that would be even more perfect for this, but I'm saving it for my wedding day. And then the cruise earrings from Olive and Piper. 
I am so obsessed and I'm so excited. Bridal shower ready. I might bring some two-sided tape as well, but we have to go. I don't want to be late. Guys, we have just arrived at my parents' house. Katie is here as well taking photos, but I'm just going to soak up the moment walking around the corner and enjoying it, and then I'll show you around after, okay? How beautiful this is, you guys. I'm going to try my hardest to get some behind the scenes, but it's going to be hard because I just want to enjoy it. So this is the little A-frame sign that I made. It says, we're happy you're here with Amanda and Scotty there. And then on the back, when people leave, it says, Amanda and Scotty, we love you and we like you. Look at this. We have to find our names. Ooh, I've never seen such How a thing. How sweet. Is this Isn't that the cutest Scotty. thing ever? <laughs> we can just restart it a couple there. Actually, he got a lot. <laughs> oh, there he is. Wow, that's really good. Woo! Hello to everyone. It's so good to see all of you. So cute. Are you having a good time? We are having a good time. There's so many of you I want to hug. This is crazy. <laughs> You can go with the Haley Well. Haley Well. Not you. Haley Well do it. <laughs> Rob will figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Him or her, you get it right. Free spot. This is our gift to you. Number three, who is grumpier in the morning? Yeah. I like the people that were really sure on that one. Yeah. For the record, the people who knew very clearly that Scott was not a morning person are the people that saw him at three o'clock in the morning on the weather network. They're very clear on this one. Who takes up most of the bed? I will deny this. I'm firmly on the edge with a dog and Amanda. Who is the better driver? Now there was debate on what makes a better driver, but who is the better driver? Amanda. So I think we said you. Because Amanda can drive sick, I can't drive sick. Amanda drives like she's seen in the Indian. Indian drivers are good drivers? Perfect. Who spends the most money? <laughs> I'm like, <"Woo!" laughs> Another really tough one coming up here. Who's the social butterfly? <laughs> she says with a butterfly cut in the back of her hand. <laughs> Beautiful. Who's the better cook? Her. 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 
said Amanda. Mm -hmm. We said Amanda. Mm -hmm. But lately, Scotty's been cooking with like more. Answer. I cook a lot more. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Amanda cooks too. Good food. Uh, attention to detail. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, is it uh, good food when Amanda cooks? It, no, it's good food. It doesn't food matter. Cook. It's good food. <laughs> You're missing the point. Good food? Or from good food? Hard to say. Hard to say. Who is more stubborn? Oh, this is stubborn. We were both very stubborn on this one. <laughs> I think we said me. Did we yeah, we did. Really? But I feel like I'm uh, pretty stubborn. I said Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> are we switching it? Yeah. Are you switching it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're giving in to your stubborn race. if you know any Aries. I like this. <laughs> Raise a shoe with eye roll. I think that goes to show. <laughs> Who takes longer showers? This is the shower length. I think, yeah, Scotty. You take longer showers, but I take longer in the bath. Yes. Who falls asleep first watching TV? Immediately. Along with who's grumpier in the morning? Who is the early bird? That's very easy. Who has the sweet tooth? Scotty. Amanda. Probably Can't be Amanda. Look at the size of her. Probably me. Probably I mean, that's candy. kind. But she does have, have sugar hidden in her car. That's what we debated. Amanda has candy hidden in her car. I'm not a winner. <laughs> but but Scotty can't go a day without yeah. something. Literally if I've had a bad day, I'm like, I deserve a nice treat. If you've had a good day, if I've had a good day, like, day, I'm like, wow. I should just get a treat. Scotty, where are you? Scotty. Who loses their keys the most? Amanda. I, I feel like it's me, right? Did we say no, me? No, we said her. <laughs> <laughs> Who forgets what they said on the sheet? Ever since. <laughs> neither one of them was Who is more organized? Yeah. 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 I'll have you guys know that after this, I said to Kyle, it doesn't make sense that the person who loses their keys is the most organized. And he said, look at yourself. <laughs> Fact. That so was my friend and I are best friends. How many times have you lost your debit card? More times than I'd like to admit. <laughs> I call the bank on a regular basis to request a new credit card. <laughs> if you see my credit card in the street, please don't charge anything to it. It happens a lot. And the last one, who is the better dancer? This can be debated on August 11th, but until then, who's the better dancer? <laughs> Do we have any all correct? Sorry to ruin your kids. We wouldn't have even done it right. <laughs> yeah, we would And I was like, mine's no longer all correct. But <laughs> anyone else correct? Anyone? Whoa. You guys are really throwing me for a loop with these prizes. I'll figure something out before you leave. If I just hand you a prize, take it and run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a couple things down, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to speak when, when it feels right. It just feels so cool looking here and seeing people from high school and university and work and little people that I picked up along the way and I feel like <laughs> that's honestly been kind of the theme of my life. It's never been like this one group so that has just defined my friendship. It's always been finding those really special gems along the way and when I look into this crowd I literally see nothing but sparkling gems that I picked up along the way and I couldn't be more grateful. When I think about relationships that are super important to me, I've always thought of the women in my life and it's even interesting just seeing people where you're all speaking to each other and you all get along so well because you're all that type of person and it means so much to me for you being here today. I feel like we've been engaged for literally years because we have been <laughs> and celebrations since COVID. <laughs> um, but we're like truly in the home stretch now and for you to be here today and knowing that you'll all kind of be there or be with there with us in spirit on the big day it just means so much to both me and Scotty and I honestly can't thank you enough and to Rebecca and my mom for like growing this freaking insane shower and all of the helping hands that were along the way I'm blown away I've shot many a bridal shower and I'm like oh my god to be the photographer who was shooting this it was so hard for me not to want to grab that camera and be like did you see this detail did you see that detail because there are so many special things and you just, mom, you poured so much love, not only into your backyard, but also into me. And I honestly appreciate it so, so much. I know that growing up, maybe you didn't get the childhood that I got, but you gave me the one that you always dreamed of. And truly, I'm so appreciative and thank you.
And to my bridesmaids, Sarah, Haley, Rebecca, Monica, who couldn't be here today, and of course, Russell, who I'm sure you'll all get to know very intimately <laughs> on the wedding day, when he's probably giving you individual lap dances at some point on the dance floor. <laughs> I am so appreciative to all of you. And Wendy, the thing that I want to say to you the most is thank you so much for raising this man that I'm going to marry. I'm just, you did the best job, and honestly, Scotty, you are the man of my dreams so I'm, I'm so grateful to everything that your mom did because it's saying about you right now <laughs> so I'll pass it over to you and dude <laughs> thanks for doing all that stuff <laughs> dude, she was a, hi Ali welcome I love you as well come on down <laughs> And Eleanor and Miriam, thank you so much. I'm, it's so funny being on a mic. I'm like, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for all of your helping hands today. I so appreciate it. Um, yeah, I love you all. I, I think that's the moral of the story. Good morning, you guys. Very exciting day because Scotty and I are finally, finally getting around to doing our bridal shower gifts, which has been since the bridal shower is on Sunday and it is now Saturday like the next week but we had so much work to catch up on and things are truly coming together with the wedding stuff as a quick update last night i sent out um i feel like sometimes when i say the word out it sounds very canadian last night i sent out not out out okay let me take that again last night i sent out our rehearsal dinner invitations and supposedly that goes to your party so that you can rehearse how the day will go and then as well out of town guests. And we have just the loveliest out of town guests. We have our uncles, Scotty's uncles, Howard and Bear Trot. If you have seen the London and Paris vlogs, you'll know that they were, of course, our hosts and the most wonderful travel tour guides. And then we also have my cousins who are coming in from Winnipeg, Sean and Lee. And I think that's all of our out of town guests besides like Russell, who is obviously in my wedding party. So the whole like bridal party will be there because we rehearse. And then Dallas, who is our wedding coordinator, etc., etc. So that has been exciting, getting that finally sent out. We are under three weeks to go to the wedding day. So having that out is gonna be amazing. We're actually doing the rehearsal dinner on venue. Um, just following the actual rehearsal. So that will make things really nice and easy. And then right now we're gonna go and do some of these gifts. I wanted to film it for you guys. I'm definitely gonna like cut this up or it'll be a quick time lapse. And then in a separate video, I could even talk about rehearsal or bridal shower gifts. And in this video as well, I'll just show you some of my top favorite picks because I've definitely seen that along the way. It's so funny when you're on a registry you get an email if someone has purchased something from your registry. So it'll be like, do you want to peek? <laughs> or do you want to wait? And I'm not gonna lie, I peeked a, I peeked a few times, a few times. Um, but Scotty hasn't seen. And then of course there's always things that aren't on your registry. So we can talk about that too. But I'm gonna bring you downstairs, little intro to the vid. This week, this weekend and this week, actually let's have like the tiny, tiniest little catch up. Put you right here. This weekend and this week is my turn my turn to catch up my turn to get back in the groove here on youtube um i've had a couple of vlogs go out before this but obviously they were very delayed too when they were actually happening in real life so this is my week to kind of get back on track because the other day i edited 16 videos and none of them were for me and then i also edited and shot a full photo shoot and none of it was for me it was obviously for me working wise um but not for me content wise. And I really wanna start turning that narrative in 2024 and the end of 2023. So that's what this weekend is all about, rededicating time towards this and trying to make like a strategic action plan. And then next week I'm actually going to Chicago, Chicago. So that is gonna be like a mix between our content, you and me, and then as well, content for my boss which will be so wonderful let me show you the quick ad that i've done to our bedroom this little bench for rosie i can't remember whether i've showed you this in a vlog and that is the primary reason why i want to get back on um videos and vlogging more is that i forget what i tell you guys and that can be super frustrating from an audience standpoint for me editing and just for the narrative so that is what is new in here let's go downstairs and start unboxing some of these gifts I can't wait, I can't wait. 
Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is my new donut. It's from Reformation. <laughs> oh, that's actually a store. So Rosie has a little donut on right now. Highly recommend this kind of vibe versus the cone of shame, as they call it. But we would never shame her for having a cone. Mm -hmm. But she's got a little gland thing going on right now. So if you know, if you know, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, there she goes. Um, so we're just trying to control her licking, but she's been really, really good. She is definitely on the upswing, but we're at about day seven now. So poor little girl. It's so hard to see you little, your little schnooties not doing well. How did she wake up yesterday? Yesterday? Oh yeah, she woke me up with a nice little barf. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. She woke me up with a nice little barf. But you know what? We move. So this is the absolute mountain of generosity um, that has been thrown our way. So let's go through it. I also, Rosie, stop baby. I also made this card box um, with the Cricut and a little card box from Amazon. So I printed these through, was it minted? No, where was it through? I'm gonna put it on the screen here. But I printed these so that we could write them as soon as we open a gift, we write these, and then we put their addresses on these that came with them as well. And I got it says special delivery, which is so cute. Um, but the key is like getting a good size, I think because you don't want it to be too, too big, but you want some room to write to say thank you. And then our plan of attack is to literally mail these today, because I feel like if you can get them out within the week, that is really good. You want them to get them before they attend the wedding. <laughs> that is 100% true. And these are from our engagement shoot. So it's always nice to have those pictures before so that you can make cards like this. And also I've already had my bridal shower, obviously. <laughs> um, so I can't do this now, but for girlies getting married in the future or planning a bridal shower, I've also heard it's smart if you have the envelopes to put them at everyone's table. And then what you do is, Rosie, stop. And then what you do is you get everyone to write their own name and return address on them. And then you collect all the envelopes so that you're basically ready to go. And of course they're gonna write their own address correctly. So that really reduces the chance for human error. And it just like reduces the amount of time that you're gonna be spent doing these cards. Before we dig on in as well, my maid of honor, she had these cards made up and it's advice for the newlyweds. So I thought it'd be fun if we read those together, Scotty and I, but I just think that's such like a sweet little idea. And then you can basically put those in the album that maybe you have photos in as well, just as a, a nice little keepsake and a note from the people you love. I also love the idea of just being able to see people's handwriting because it's so personal to everyone. Tell me you have kids without telling me you have kids. <laughs> it's so cute. We got the Uline and Stay Flats. We got the Stay Flats. Hmm? I don't even know what this is. Yeah, me neither. Oh, this is from Anya. And Nick and Luki. With love, Nick, Anya, Luki. Makes sense. So cute. Can you take a card, please? <laughs> <gasps> Wait, they got us our... Oh. Oh my god, I wanted this so badly. That is so nice that they bought those for us. What is it? It's just like a little, that could be like a sugar dish. But those bowls, I wanted them so bad. Like, they are lovely. slow process but it's really fun I have really found that in the wedding process one of the best things that you can do is just enjoy it and not try to go task to task to task you know and and get everything done and it's you got to get through it it's just sitting in these moments and just taking it slow and enjoying it but planning for that time if you can because throughout the week Scotty and I were thinking like oh we really want to film this and and share it and more just not for the look at me look at what I got more for the inspiration <laughs> you know what I mean because I went on so many blogs and was looking up what to get people what to even put on your wedding registry so yes 
This is my little note in between doing this slow and steady that you really just want to slow it down and enjoy the process. Brew a tea, plan a weekend, plan a morning, make sure you eat and enjoy it. And I also think this is so fun doing this with Scotty, seriously, because as much as the bridal shower is for the bride and a lot of these things are just addressed to me because it's very customary for bridal shower vibes, it's so nice doing it with Scotty. And there are options too where right during the bridal shower you do it or you do it after with your maid of honor so you're writing down cards and things like that. But I just think it is so lovely doing this with him. So something to consider. I was freaking out earlier as well because someone, Anya, had purchased us these beautiful dishes and I wanted these so, so badly. And Anya pulled the trigger for us and I'm so grateful. Wouldn't this make an adorable little sugar bowl? It's so cute. It's basically from a um, cabbage collection. And I just love how beautiful they are. Oh my God. Scotty's just taking Rosie out. And actually this is a good time too to note that when you are making your wedding registry, put one of the best pieces of advice I got from my maid of honor, Rebecca, was just put stuff on there. Even if you think that no one will get you it, you literally never know. So just throw stuff on there and you don't have to be just super cliche with what you put on there. Put things on there that you will love for your home. Um, Osa, who is so adorable and hilarious, she was like, why didn't she put like Aritzia gift cards on there? And I was like, Osa, this is for our home. <laughs> but that was adorable. Um, so Osa, if I ever get the chance to come to your bridal shower, you know what I'm gonna be getting you? Aritzia gift cards. <laughs> Could you imagine? It was just like, I would like this Gucci bag. Someone go in on it and get it for me. But I'm not sure who got us this, if it was Kimbo and um, M. I was really excited to put this on my on the registry and I wasn't sure, but look how pretty that is. I think I know who got us this. This is the other thing is some people will send gifts straight to your home and then some people will wrap them and bring them to the bridal shower. So it totally depends. I feel like location dependent, but this is so stunning. Love that. And the good thing is Scotty likes it too. Look at that candle. Oh, beautiful. Reminds me of the intro. Is it in? It is. Nice smell. I'm like, it is. Remember we used to have this at your place all the time? Oh, it brings me back. Doesn't that? Really that smell. I know. I burned so many of those candles. I love that smell so much. Good. <laughs> I was thinking that we could get like a big um, cookie made that says like 55 or something and put it on Kim's placing. Is it her 55th birthday? The day before our wedding. Oh, that's cute. Well, we could do that on our... So wait, is her birthday on our rehearsal? <gasps> yeah! So we should have a little cake for her. Like a little happy birthday. Yeah, like something, we could do some research too, because I really haven't done any research, like we might find some ideas we love. But they do have it. That's so nice. Okay, so this, oh my gosh, I'm such a dunce. What? I'm like, what a fun trap. I'm like, let's preserve this bow, and then I just ripped it off. Let's see. There's ribbon on the Let's save the ribbon. <laughs> yes. This is cute for hot plates. Oh, great. A little towel. Ooh. Cast iron, the ultimate cookbook. Oh, I wonder if that's a cast iron pan. What's that do? Ooh. Whoa. Chuck Hughes. Chuck Hughes. <laughs> Cute. Should we do the big boy? Let's do it. Uh, happy wedding shower. Amanda, we can't leave the days on this here. We're happy for you and Scotty. Can't wait to celebrate you both. <laughs> You've got that boat to marry the love of your life. Go out fast <laughs> and enjoy. Enjoy this piece of joy for your kitchen. Mm -hmm. We love ours and can't imagine how we baked. <laughs> Remember, no matter how hectic it gets, the end will bring all the people who love you to celebrate you. Mm. Love Cheryl, Sin, and Rebecca. Mm. Ooh, Rose. What do you think? What do you think, Rose? What do you think, Jake? Maybe it's a mixer of it. 
In pistachio! Cool. Wow. So fun. So fun. Aren't those beautiful? got us this beautiful bowl made by Cinnamon Clay Co. It says Heather on the bottom. And we're just looking up like the significance of this artist. And Scotty seems to think that it's from out east, which is so lovely. We definitely want to have like a green and blue kitchen. So this is going to be so perfect. Thank you, Kathy. So they are just a tiny artist out of Hillsborough, New Brunswick. Oh, that's so lovely. That must be Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Lovely. Yeah, these are so cool. So cool. Oh, I love that. It really adds character like to your home, mm -hmm. having things like that. So we love it. This is our little haul so far. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm always trying to guess like, who's writing this? This is how I know my friends know me. Look how beautifully this is from Israel. With this beautiful little pink rose on it. She's so cute. She sent me a message. She's like, I don't want to mess up here. What color do you want? Oh, great. <laughs> it's a pie dish. Oh, great. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Yeah. It's lovely. What is the bottom like? Oh, yeah, the cool clay vibes. So nice. So nice. Magnolia table book. Oh, they literally got this so early. This makes so much sense for this gift. I think this was like literally the first thing that was bought for us. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? So when you have a cookbook open, it goes like this. Wow. Look, so then your cookbook doesn't even get messy. Oh. Right? Good one! Can you <laughs> He's like not in it anymore, can you guys tell? <laughs> Looks so good. You're just like in this crack. Looks so good. <laughs> Scotty's really good sport, but this has been quite literally hours. <laughs> what are you doing? I almost hit my capacity on my phone, so I was trying to audit what pictures I should leave. Aww. And I was just looking at pictures of you and Rosie. Aww. What are you doing, Rose? You doing okay? like the absolute dream right now because there's so many flowers um but we have officially divided and conquered and written all of the addresses and scotty went out and got stamps so ceremoniously we are going to mail them together which is so lovely and then i'm going to film some short form videos for some inspiration on kind of like top 10 things to put on your wedding registry things like that as well as take some photos because i want to write a blog about this so it's very easy to access anytime you need it. I will link that down below in the description box if you're looking to kind of save that for the future or send it to a bride-to-be or save it for yourself. Right now I'm standing in a corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here but I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody singing oh 